Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. Today we are going to look at Spring Interceptor. An interceptor is run between requests. Then what does filter does? A filter is run before rendering a view. That's a key difference. Filter is related to the servlet API and interceptor is a Spring specific concept. A servlet filter is used in the web layer only. You can't use it outside of a web context. Interceptors can be used anywhere. This is one of the main difference between a servlet, filter, and an interceptor. For authentication of web pages, you could use a servlet filter. For security stuffs in your business layer or logging, you could use an interceptor. Let us create a simple interceptor in this video and see how it works. In order to make use of an interceptor in a Spring application, you have to do few things. First, you have to create an interceptor. Here, I have created a request header interceptor. You could see here, this request header interceptor extends handler interceptor adapter. Now, what is this handler interceptor adapter? This is an abstract adapter class for simplified implementation of pre post interceptors. This handler interceptor adapter has three methods in this. One is pre handle, second one is post handle, and the third one is after completion. These can be overridden and used depending upon the needs of your application. For the example that I'm going to show, I only need pre handle. So, what is pre handle? In the, in the simplest terms, you could say pre handle is something that handles before hitting the controller. Post handle handles something after returning from the controller. After completion method is something that can be handled after the response is sent and view is rendered. You could also notice one thing that I have annotated this particular request header interceptor with at the rate of component. What is at the rate of component? At the rate of component annotation marks that a Java class is a bean so that the component scanning mechanism of Spring can pick it up and pull it into the application context. For this example, we are going to have a simple header validation. I'm going to add a new request header to my student request, and if the request header doesn't have any value or is it empty? Then I'm going to throw an invalid header field exception. If the request uh, header has value, then it will be routed to the controller and the controller will process the request. Next, let us look at what configuration you have to configure in order to make the interceptor work. For this, I have created the student config file. The student config file implements the web MVC configurer. What is Web MVC Configurer? Web MVC Configurer has set of different methods to register different applications or different uh, contracts to the registry. Before Spring 5, we used to extend the Web MVC Configurer adapter, but after Spring 5, Web MVC Configurer adapter has been deprecated. So we are going to implement the web MVC configurer to use the same set of functionalities. You could see here, I have overridden a method called add interceptors. So this is where you're going to add your application interceptor to the registry. I have auto wide my request header interceptor here and I'm adding this interceptor directly to the registry dot add interceptor. The other rate of configuration uh, annotated on the top of the class indicates that this particular class has one or more bean creation methods in it. Next, let's go to the invalid header field exception. This is a custom exception that was created to handle invalid header fields. This particular exception will be handled inside the student exception handler. In this student exception handler is a REST controller advice that catches the exceptions thrown in the application. You could see here I have a method called handle invalid header field exception. 
this method is a simple method simple exception method that catches the invalid header field exception and gives out a exception message along with the status the status the status is going to be a precondition fail because when one of your header request header condition does not satisfy then that entire request should be rejected as precondition fail because it does it does it does not satisfy the precondition to enter your application before running this example i would like to also show you one more thing let's go back to the interceptor control interceptor in the interceptor you could see here that i'm throwing a new invalid header field exception i'm just saying invalid request i could also say invalid request student auth key or invalid request header but for security reasons it's always advisable to show a common message you don't want to give it out to the hackers saying that you're missing a request header your request header is less than 5 characters or if your request header can only have numbers this is your request header and you're missing it in the request so these are things that you should always eliminate or avoid when giving out the error the error message should be generic and it should be proper so that only the client who has the contract to send request to you can understand so let us run this and see how the program behaves i have the postman opened up here and we don't have our application header added here that is student hyphen auth and hyphen key now let us see how the program behaves i'm going to click on send you could see here we have got invalid request this invalid request is written from the risk controller advice class you could see here the status status is 412 precondition fail one of the precondition to access this application has failed now let's go back and add our request header I'm going to click on send now you could see the request header has passed its validation and it has gone to the controller the controller is sending out a message saying that authorization 12345 is valid and data is saved let me open up the controller here in the controller we are just getting the request header student auth key into a string authorization and just returning it back so this is one scenario of how to use an interceptor in spring based applications thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos